Hello everyone and welcome to lecture number four. This is the last one for this unit and this one is going to be on the different types of microscopes which I'm pretty sure you've seen before but we want to refresh your memory about them. So the first uh, microscope that we're going to be using in class is called a stereoscopic microscope uh, and this uses in order to magnify the image uh, light beams. And we're going to use it uh, under low magnification. And we use this one in, uh, generally to look at larger objects, dissection specimens. So this one gives you a really nice picture, uh, you know, this coin, the detail that's in there. The next type of microscope, and this one uh, is probably going to be the, the one we're using most of the time, is a compound microscope. And this also uses light beams. Okay, and this has high, uh, low, and scanning magnifications. So different levels. Uh, this has a bit of a higher magnification than the stereoscopic microscope would have. And we're going to uh, use this to look at um, smaller objects, um, slides, uh, things of that nature. Um, you know, really tiny things that you would need a microscope for that are too tiny to see with the stereoscopic microscope. So since we are using the compound light microscope so much this year to take a look at specimens, I would like you to know the parts uh, of the microscope and their functions. So this first piece up here is called the eyepiece. Right, and this is the part of the microscope that you look through. Uh, and it does contain a lens that uh, is going to be used for very low magnification. The second one, so we're going clockwise, is called the stage. And this is where you would put your specimen or your slide. So whatever you're looking at, you're going to place onto here. Right, this big knob is called the course adjustment knob. And this knob is used to lower and raise the stage so that you can focus your image in the microscope. Right, this smaller knob right to the side here, so this little guy, is called the fine adjustment knob. And what this does is it refines the image for you. So everybody's eyes are a little bit different. Uh, what is focused for me may not be focused for you. Right, so this kind of does the fine tuning for your image so that it's clear uh, when you look through it. All right, now the course adjustment knob uh, we're going to use on low magnification and low magnification only. Okay, we're not going to use this on high power because since it does raise and lower the stage, uh, you have a possibility of cracking your slide if you raise that too much. Okay, so remember that you're only going to use the big course adjustment knob uh, when you're on the lower levels of magnification. All right, the fine adjustment knob is what you're going to use for the high level of magnification. So going around clockwise, right, this part down here is the light source. Okay, hopefully you have figured out that is where your light comes from. Uh, in the oldie days, this would be like a candle or a mirror that you would use. All right, this guy up here, uh, sometimes it's like a rotating disc that's underneath the stage. It's called the diaphragm. 
And what this part does is it varies the amount of light that's passing through the specimen, through this little hole on the stage. Right, sometimes you might want uh, there to be not as much light. You just want to see the contrast be the, uh, between uh, specimens. So you would lower the light source. And sometimes you want to see all of the details. So you'd make it a little bit brighter. Right, now these two things here are called the stage clips. And they simply hold your slide down for you. And perhaps the most important part of the microscope, because this is the part that does the work, these three things here are called your objectives. And you have a high power one, a low power, and the scanning. So you have varied uh, levels of magnification that you can use using these objectives. So they have lenses on the inside, which actually help magnify the image for you. And the last type of microscope that I would like you to know is the electron microscope. This uses, instead of light beams, it uses beams of electrons. All right, and for electron microscopes, you, depending on the type of electron microscope you're using, you're going to be looking at microscopic, uh, microscopic things, but in fine detail. So it gives you these really beautiful, clear pictures, uh, sometimes done at the atomic level. Okay, so um, we're going to get really detailed. Microscopic specimens. Okay, and cross sections. So I think this is a, a cross section of one of the parts of the cell. I don't remember which one it is off the top of my head.